So this is, again, your pelvic girdle. And we're just gonna pretend that we're gonna remove the right pelvic bone, just like that. Um, so this is a lateral view of that bone. And your pelvic bone can also be called your os coxa, your coxal, or your innominate, or it can just be called your pelvic bone. And what makes up the pelvic bone is three structures, and you've got your ilium, your ischium, and your pubis. And a really good photo that kind of shows those boundaries very well is right here and it shows your ilium, this white part. The green part is the ischium. And then this red part is the pubis. So if we remove your right hip bone and we look at it laterally, I'm gonna draw a square just like that. And that is your ilium. Up top is your iliac crest, and this is the posterior spine, and this is the anterior spine because it sits like this in the pelvic girdle. So anterior and posterior. So if that's your posterior spine, this is the posterior superior iliac spine. This is the posterior inferior iliac spine, leading up to the greater sciatic notch right here. And then since this would be it sitting inside the pelvic girdle, you can see right in this area or down here. Um, let's see if I can. So yeah, this whole region right here is articulating with the sacrum. And disarticulated, it would look like this. So this region is your articular surface with the sacrum, which can also be called your auricular surface. And then the last structure that makes up the ilium is your acetabulum, which actually makes up all three bones. And the ilium portion is just this top portion right here. Now moving down to the ischium, if I kind of draw a square right there, the ischium, of course, is made up of your acetabulum. And it also has its own spine, but it's just going to be called the ischial spine. The rough region of the ischium is going to be called the ischial tuberosity. And this big hole makes up the boundary of the ischium, and that's the obturator foramen. If this is the greater sciatic notch of the ilium, right down below is the lesser sciatic notch of the ischium. And the last structure you'll need to know is the pubis. And again, here is a little square of the pubis and that's made up of the acetabulum and the obturator foramen, which is marks the boundary between the ischium and the pubis, but not the ilium. And from the pubis, you have a superior ramus and an inferior ramus, also viewed from this portion, superior and inferior ramus. And then this region, so if you look at it right here, is the pubic symphysis surface. 